All the birds are gathered here. This is weird. Making that noise. I had to take a video of this. Very strange. I mean, I could hear from inside. I had to come out and see what was going on. So I go over them and sharpen at the same time. Kind of weird. I haven't seen anything like that before. But there's more over here. You got the tray. Unbelievable. Okay, signing out. This is a Sunday night. I don't really forget what time it is. It's probably between 5 and 6. Everybody, how you doing? Uh, today I'm talking about pets. We all had pets when we were kids. Uh, I had a bird named Sniffy. Uh, if you see the bird on my computer to the right, the one with the green feathers and yellow on top of its head, throughout its body, uh, that's the one I had. I used to call him Sniffy. And I had him since I was a little kid, and every day I used to come home from school. I used to go over to the bird, talk to him, play with him, waiting for Superman to come on, and which I always used to watch. Forget all there was. And one day I come home from school, go over to the bird cage. It's absolutely spotless and clean, nothing in it. And I said, Ma, I said, what happened to Sniffy? And she goes, Sit down, I have something sad to tell you. So I sit down on the sofa. I was probably about maybe. Six, seven, I don't even remember. Uh, she goes, I just want to let you know that Sniffy was bearing eggs and she died. I said, oh my God. I was like heartbroken. So, you know, years went on, years went on. You know, you get over it, I guess, after a while. And um, I was about 15, 16. My mother sits me down on the sofa. She, you know, because I used to keep talking about the bird. You know, I can't believe Sniffy died and whatever. So she sits me down. She goes, I want to tell you what really happened. I said, what do you mean? I said, I thought you said it was because it was, you know, sometimes birds, they, they lay eggs even though they're not fertile. And, you know, you got to be careful because there could be complications. So she says, uh, well, what happened was I was vacuuming and I wanted to clean the birdcage. And she went over to the birdcage with a vacuum. And, you know, you have all the gravel on the bottom of the cage. She took the vacuum and she was very carefully trying to clean it. And the bird must have, you know, flew off his perch onto the bottom of the cage. And the vacuum sucked. It's, it's not really funny, but the vacuum sucked up the bird. And it killed him, of course. Broke its neck, whatever. So, I mean, when she told me that story, I said, you waited all these years to tell me that? And she goes, well, she goes, I didn't want you to know that I actually, you know, it was my fault. I said, no, it's not, I'm not going to blame you for that. You were just trying to clean the cage. So, everything was cool. And, uh, you know, I felt bad for my mother because she probably always had that in the back of her mind that, you know, she actually killed the bird. But, it, you know, it was an accident. Things happen. I understand, you know. Maybe if she would have told me when I was younger, I would have gotten upset. But, you know, so I forgave her. And, uh, you know, that basically was it. But I wanted to get, like, a pet. But, you know, we can't have dogs here. So, basically... Uh, I went to the novelty store and I happened to see this parrot that, you know, was really nice. And uh, it talks. Of course, it's not a real parrot. It's just, you know, one of those novelty parrots that, you know, they do talk. You know, you throw a couple of batteries in them. I figured, hey, that would be cool just to, you know, just to have for fun. So I got this parrot and he's right here. And uh, his name is Polly. And... Uh, He's pretty, he's pretty cool. It's pretty funny. And uh, yeah, let me show you. I got to put, put him on. Hold on one second. See if I can put him on here. Okay, I'm just trying to put him on. 
There he goes. And he talks. He's really cool. And, uh, let's see. Hey, Polly. How you doing, Polly? Guess he's not talking. Gotta shake him up a little sometimes. Come on. Hey, I told you, watch your mouth. Polly wants a fucking cracker. Polly wants a fucking cracker. Give Polly a fucking cracker now. Hey, I told you. Hey, hey. baby, show us your tip. Oh, man. I'll tell you, this, this bird is ripped. Stop. This parrot is really bad, let me tell you. Really, really, really bad. Hey, Polly, let me tell you something. You know, I wish I would have gotten a regular parakeet like I had when I was a kid. I'd have to name him. I'd probably name him Hoover. That would be a good name. It goes with the vacuum story, I guess. Uh, anything else you have to say? No? What the hell's the matter with you, man? Who's a pretty Polly? Who's a pretty Polly? Not you, Lord Ass. <laughs> Lord Ass? You're funny. <laughs> hey, you. Go <Don't> fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this, this parrot is really a lot of laughs, you know? Okay. Enough with this. I had it with you. I'm putting you back in your freaking box. Learn some manners, huh? Get no respect from you.